Right now, Mitz Moocher video. Romney caught calling half of America's freeloaders. Is this a game changer? We'll examine. And next, do you recognize his face? Well, by the end of tonight, you will know all you need to about Sean Patrick Maloney, the man who's looking to unseat Republican Nan Hayworth in a hotly contested race in New York's Hudson Valley. It's a race being watched nationwide. Plus, with increased green on blue attacks in Afghanistan, NATO is making a major course correction here, halting most of its joint missions with Afghan soldiers. So some, including yours truly, are asking, if all that's being done, why the heck are we still there? Good evening, everybody, and welcome to RFL. I'm Richard French, and thank you so much for joining us this Tuesday evening, September 18th. The Romney campaign in major scramble mode here, trying to contain the damage after his remarks at a private fundraiser in May were leaked. It is, to put it politely, an unflattering picture of a man who wants to occupy the White House, a man who appears to think that half of America are nothing more than moochers. Mitt Romney in California last night, walking up to the podium with a forced smile in a hastily arranged press conference, his campaign in crisis mode. Good evening. Uh, I understand that there's a, uh, a video that's been on the Internet for a few weeks that has uh, attracted some attention. That video, posted in snippets by left-leaning Mother Jones magazine, shows Mitt Romney in the circle there and partially blurred out video speaking to wealthy donors at a fundraiser after he clinched the nomination. In the video, he appears to say that nearly half of all Americans believe that they're victims. There are 47% of the people who will vote for the president no matter what. All right, there are 47% who are with him, who are dependent upon government, who believe that, that they are victims, who believe that government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they're entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. But that's it's an entitlement, and the government should give it to them. And they will vote for this president no matter what. He says they don't pay income tax, and because of that, his message of lowering taxes doesn't resonate. He said that as an election strategy, he just can't worry about those voters. And so my job is not to worry about those people. I'll never convince them that they should take personal responsibility and care for their lives. What I have to do is convince the 5 to 10 percent in the center that are independent. The Obama campaign said it was shocking that Romney believes half of Americans view themselves as victims. Now, Romney's video controversy comes just as his campaign was trying to hit the reset button. Now they're going to have to try and hit that reset button all over again um, as they try to redefine a candidate who seems to be doing his best to make their job even more difficult than it is. All right, let me bring in our panel here tonight. And as always, to discuss these issues and more, Dominic Carter, political journalist and author, and Andrew Whitman, our senior political correspondent. All right, guys. Listen, uh, we've had more than enough of a, a buffet to s pick from from the comments, even as recently as last week, that he thought that the middle class, uh, he being Mitt Romney, was making between two and 250 grand a year. But to me, you can't exaggerate how bad this one. Am I right, Dominic? Mitt Romney, and I'm saying this as objectively as humanly possible, Mitt Romney may have ended his presidential campaign. Listen. When you, there's a reason why you have, Richard, a private fundraiser. Rule number one is your staff is supposed to make sure there are no recording devices there. Rule number two is he needs a body man just to control his mouth. Do, I mean, do you understand what he said? I mean, think about this. To all the correction officers out there, all the police, we're not just talking about people on welfare, what he said. Correction officers, Police officers, teachers, half the country. He says that you think you're entitled to something and that's your mindset. And basically what he's saying is to these wealthy donors, this is why I'm running so we can put those people in their place. Those people, he didn't, those are not his words. But I mean, now listen, all candidates make mistakes. Obama had his moment, you know, that private oh, fundraiser yeah. clinging to their guns and religion and so on. But that's nothing compared to this. And also Mitt timing, Dominic, that you hit on. He did that comment Obama did in the spring of 08. This one, we're under 50 days, Andrew. 
Same question. How bad, how much of a problem is this thing? I'm not so sure it's a fatal blow to the Romney campaign. It certainly hurts in their search for undecided voters or for people who are in the middle. But one of the things that he referenced in that video is that there's 47% who aren't going to vote for me anyway. And he may be right about that in, in terms of the, the natural constituency that, that he's trying to go for. The other thing is a lot of people who are in that 47% that he's basically throwing away may not realize that they are. And I know we're going to get into this later where we break down who exactly is included in that 47%, but a lot of people will hear something like this and, be, and, and think, oh my goodness, these freeloaders who are getting all this government for largesse. people who heard the clip, and if they were at work today, they didn't get to hear of it. I know we played it for you, but he wasn't talking about 47% being registered Democrats or something. The 47% that he told that audience about were the people that he thought were in effect freeloaders that were relying on the government that weren't paying any uh, income taxes, et cetera. Now we'll break down the policy of that, why he's factually wrong, but also where the numbers aren't where he may thought of, I think they are, and, and we'll talk about that. But for me, guys, this, uh, I'm more with Dominic than not. And I, you asked me three months ago, if I had to make a private bet, I would have put a 50-50 at best for Obama. And if I had to bet my mortgage, I would have bet that Romney would have won. Agree. But, but Amen. He, Same thing. I would have owned both your houses. Okay, but he <laughs> has managed to reconfirm in this video the worst suspicions. That's One right. is that he's unrelatable, right. that he doesn't have a clue what the regular American is going for. And unless you're in a private audience and you got seven figures, you're not his people. And then Whether he doesn't care. Or and not, then he doesn't that's care. What he, that he right. doesn't care. And, and that's the, the bigger away. one, Andrew, that you hit, that he doesn't care. And that it's like, listen, you're not my worry. I'm not concerned about them was his words. And that in effect, he's saying that half of America are hopeless losers. That you guys are right. just, you're, you're a drain on the country and, and you're killing me. Now, you hit it. Who are we talking about? We're going to get into the detail. You're talking about veterans. Anybody who goes to a VA, a vet, they're the guys that are basically dragging us down. You're a student looking for, uh, with a college loan. That's you. You're on Social Security. That's our seniors in this country. This is you. Now, finally, his argument, and Obama said, hey, he's going to raise your taxes if you're in the middle or in the lower. And Romney says, don't believe the hype. If you watch this video, why should you think for a second, if you're in the middle class and the lower class, which is the vast majority of this country, that he's not going to, you know, stick it but to Richard, you? Richard, let, let's put politics aside for one second. For one, I mean, in terms of uh, Democrat or Republican, the goal when you're up against an incumbent president with an economy like this, if Obama says good morning, you should say 8.5% or whatever the latest number is unemployment. If Obama says sky, you should say 8.5% unemployment. Mr. President, you promised hope and change. Where are those jobs? He's stepping on his own message. He, and, he and, can't get out of his own way. should be, right, Andrew? If you're running as the new guy, Republican, Democrat, it doesn't matter what party is, you should be the optimistic guy. You should say, and you should say every, every person, whether it was Reagan, whether it was Bush, whether it was Clinton running the first term, you don't have to run against a record. You're going to say, I'm going to bring the country together. I'm going to get everybody back on their feet. I'm for all of America. In this video, it confirmed the suspicions he's only for half of America, and even less than that can he actually relate to. But, but even worse than that, it's going to take away all the attention that he's going to try to get on the economic message that you, were, that you were mentioning, Dominic, because for the next two weeks, every question is going to be, hey, what, what about the 47%? Are you really throwing away half the electorate right there? And, if and, I can, and how guys, it gets spun. If I can, there was a ton of sound bites and quotes that I could have bombarded with, but there was one. Just to give you an idea how bad it is for him, Linda McMahon, she's a Republican nominee, she's of WWE fame, she's running for Senate in Connecticut. She's hardly going to be confused as, forget about a progressive, a moderate, really conservative here. This is what Linda McMahon had to say today, and trust me, I got a hundred more Republicans right behind her who gave this kind of diagnosis of the patient being Mitt Romney today as to where he is. I disagree with Governor Romney's insinuation that 47% of Americans believe they are victims who must depend on the government for their care. I know that the vast majority of those who rely on government are not in that situation because they want to be. People today are struggling because the government has failed to keep America competitive, failed to support justice job creators and fail to get our economy back on track. If Linda McMahon and trust me, the Alan West of the world are distancing themselves 
from Mitt Romney, uh, even Governor Christie did so today, and I thought they were BFFs. You know you were in trouble. But Richard, Richard, what about the American family where, you know, well, mom and dad... Into the policy okay. Let's get into okay. the policy okay. part okay. after this break. And we want you to keep the conversation going online. We're going to try to get some comments of yours as well. Go to our Facebook page or Twitter. Sound off. Is Romney's comments here a game changer? When we come back, we're going to break down for you who exactly makes up that 47%. Again, take the politics out. Now we're going to talk about the policy and who he thinks are freeloaders. You may see, be surprised that you might even fall into that population yourself. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be back with our guest as well. The Palestinians have no interest whatsoever in establishing peace. Uh, and that the... And that the uh, pathway to peace is um, almost unthinkable to, to accomplish. We have, we have a, a potentially uh, volatile situation, but we sort of live with it. And we kick the ball down the field and hope that ultimately somehow something will happen and resolve it. We don't, we don't go to war to, to try and uh, resolve it.